my hope lies in Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's the way it is, then. Yes, yes, it is. I like that. That's a good song. I love it. Who wants to praise the Lord? That's good. Amen. Anybody awesome. awesome. else want to praise the Lord? Anybody else? You can just do that, don't you? Oh, well, here they are. Amen. That's the wave praise going back here. Yes. You can see our family here. Our little buddy's here today. Yeah. He's a growing up. Yes. Tell you what. Looks just like his mama. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else want to praise the Lord? He's worthy. He's good. He's he worthy. Is, he is good. I mean, just look at him. He had been good. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's exactly yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, yeah, uh, just a praise report. Terry's okay. While he was going on vacation, mm -hmm. the truck he normally drives to work uh, on the job, it exploded and burnt to the ground. He could have been in it and wow. around it and really? whatever. Yeah. Yes. Wow. So wow, what a miracle. He's got pictures on his phone. There's, there's nothing left in the truck. The Lord's protecting you. Yes. yes, amen. Tell you what. Amen. He must not be food to you. <laughs> yeah, amen. That's an unusual story. I like stories like that. Yeah. Anybody else want to pray the Lord? <clears throat> we praise the Lord for all of you that are here today. We appreciate you coming. Bring somebody with you next time. We'd like to see Brother Will be around here. Yeah. So uh, bring some people with you. You know, I work, they can tell you, Brian can tell you, I try to get people to come to church all the time. They'll come and they'll go. They'll come and go. They're like sheep, the Bible says. Yeah. But like sheep, they need a shepherd. And yeah. so it's important to try to bring folks with you. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you do that. Prayer requests from here to the church and our school. Uh, we had a little boy, a little teenage boy. He's been in trouble all the time. Been in trouble. You can't imagine how much trouble he's been in. Get saved out here. And another rededication. And all kinds of stuff going on here on Wednesday night Bible study. And if, you, if you'd like to come and visit, it's from 7 until 8 on Wednesday night. We're finishing up the Ten Commandments. We're going to do a study on where does the Bible say you have a right to defend yourself? And we're going to be going over that verse by verse in two weeks, not this week, but the next. Now, now we're going to be here. We don't take off for Halloween, y'all. Halloween's Wednesday, but we'll be here for Bible study. We don't, take, we don't do anything about Halloween around here, okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and then, like I said, in a couple of weeks, if you'd like to Run your notebook and write down the verses where it says clearly that you have a right to defend yourself even to the point of death. Even to the point uh, if you had to take a life to defend your children. And it gives you permission to Bible that. And so, so people need to know where that's at. Especially in the times we're living. Amen. Wasn't it terrible what happened in that Jewish church? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. guy walked in there and started killing, I think it was 11 people, four of them injured and four police officers injured. More and more that's happened. Churches all around here uh, uh, asked me uh, about uh, what I felt about people carrying weapons in the church and stuff. I said, that's between you and the Lord. Yeah. Between you and God. That's your own decision. But a lot of them are coming out here, ministers and people learning restraint training. Learning, uh, yeah. like somebody comes in and starts pointing a weapon, what to do. Right. And uh, so we're going to be doing that, maybe going to churches and talking to them about that it's okay to defend yourself. And I'll use those verses I'm telling you about to prove right. it. Okay. We need to have that proof for God. Yeah. People won't believe it unless you see it in the Bible. Right. I said that's important. Amen. Who else has a prayer request? Yeah, my brother, uh, family. Uh, <sighs> unspoken, also. So I can tell some rust going on there. Yeah. Uh, but Lord's in control over everything. He is. He sure is. Yes. Our country, the church. Yes. Church worldwide. I think church is confused. under attack. Yeah, they're under attack and they're Bible confused. Bible Confused, yes. Bible process. Who else? Prayer request? Let's pray for our family. <coughs> okay. Our church family, too. A lot of prayer needs to go on. Yeah. That's right. Anybody else? Prayer request? Anybody? Family. Family, okay. Family. Never made them. Made them a good time here last night. Yeah. Had a veterans meeting last night. Like old Ty. Ty's got his buddy with him back there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anybody else for every quick? Uh, just our jobs, businesses, and everything. We should be getting our new sign up hopefully this week, and that maybe will help you know, where we've moved and relocated and everything. Yeah, yeah. when y'all get, get in there, I'll come, come by on the way back somewhere and holler at you. <laughs> we pray for you. Father God, we thank you for another <laughs> forgiveness. We thank you, Lord, for those that showed up this morning. God, that uh, we just thank you for life, Lord. You said you give us life and you give us give it to us more abundantly. God, we thank you for that, Lord. We can rejoice in that there alone. But we thank you for everything that you do for us in life, God. Uh, 
even life's journeys, Lord, when the times get uh, tiresome, when they get troublesome, uh, you're still with us, Lord. You said you'd never leave us nor forsake us, nor put no more on us than we could bear without giving us a way to escape. God, we thank you for your word. It's true. God, and it's been proven time after time, God, that uh, there's no lie in it. And you are God. You cannot lie. And Father, um, we thank you, God, that when we can go to nobody else, we can go always go to you, Lord. And Father, uh, these requests that's been made known here today, God, our country, Lord, our, our leaders of our country, our churches, Lord, it's uh, whatever the requests has been made known here today, our families, and we are uh, families, God, in their church, God. Each one, Lord, when one hurts, we all are to hurt. And God, that... Uh, I want to look upon my brothers and sisters, God, and their requests, Lord. I pray, God, that you'll just answer every one. I pray, God, that you'll supply that every need. I'm, th I'm so thankful, as a song said, you are a chain breaker. You, you break these uh, chains of bondage. You, you set the captives free. God, we just, Lord, we just love you this morning. Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done, for what you're doing, for what you're going to do. Father, if there'd be one amongst us, Lord, that needs that extra special touch this morning, Lord, that you'll just pass by and comfort that soul. God, that you'll be in the, the meeting here this morning, that you'll just set us on fire for you. And God, that you'll bless and anoint the music and set Brother Steve on fire this morning, God. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done. In Jesus' precious and mighty name, amen. amen. I appreciate that. Amen. amen.